Good evening and welcome to Denver 7 Sports brought to you by the Lodge Casino. All right, big show tonight, including the Avalanche back in action. But we start with the NFL honors as seen on Denver 7 tonight. The MVP award presented by a former Broncos MVP quarterback to a future Broncos MVP quarterback. <laughs> uh, Peyton Manning opening the digital envelope. And the award goes to Aaron Rodgers of the Packers. No surprise here. The 38-year-old wins the award for the second year in a row, fourth time overall. He said he hasn't made a decision on his future yet. Unfortunately, he did not scream out, I'm taking my talents to Denver. But it sounded a little bit like a thank you and goodbye to Green Bay. I'd like to thank the Green Bay Packers, Mark, Brian, Russ, our incredible fan base. It's been uh, an amazing 17 years. So thankful for the memories and the moments over the years. Well, I'm going to enjoy the next couple of weeks. And, you know, I've had good conversations with Green Bay and I'll, you know, do some contemplating and, and make a decision here pretty quick. Now we wait. All right, let's get to the uh, Hall of Fame announcement. Offensive lineman Tony Baselli, who grew up in Boulder, played at Fairview High School, is going to be enshrined in Canton, a member of the class of 2022. Also, the late great CU Buffs receiver Cliff Branch elected to the Hall of Fame. He passed away in 2019 at age 71. His sister Elaine Anderson represented him on stage. Broncos great DeMarcus Ware did not make it this year, but he will be there at some point in the near future. The Walter Payton Man of the Year Award went to Andrew Whitworth of the Rams for outstanding leadership on and off the field. Broncos safety Justin Simmons was the nominee from here. Congrats to him and everybody. Thanks for all you guys do in the community. And the USAA Salute to Service Award went to Broncos fullback slash tight end Andrew Beck. This award goes to the player who honors and supports the military community. Beck's dad is a brigadier general in the U.S. Army. You can watch his story on the Broncos Country Connected show. That's posted right now on the Broncos YouTube channel and on my Twitter feed and Facebook page.